Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today in this lecture we are going to solve a numerical problem related to settling basin. The given question is find the dimension of settling basin for a high head project of Himalaya river where which utilize a discharge of 60 meter cube per second and gross head of 100 meter. The sediment size to be removed is up to 0.15 mm. And consider the turbulence effect also. So let's start solving this. First, we'll carry out the given data in the question where the given discharge Q equals 60 meter cube per second. The sediment size D equals 0.15 mm, and we'll consider the settling velocity. for 0.15 mm particle side equals w equals 1.5 cm per second equals 0.015 meter per second now the limiting velocity for particle 0.15 mm size to removal v equals 0.44 root over 0.015 equals 0.17 meter per second now the surface area of settling basin can be calculated as as equals k times of q is divided by w so in case number one we'll take no turbulence condition no condition where the value of k is equals to one for equals one for factor as we have the discharge is 60 meter cube per second which is very high so we will consider two numbers of settling basin as because of high discharge And therefore <coughs> the Q for a single basin equals 60 is divided by 2 equals 30 meter cube per second that is now we'll calculate surface area A as equals Q is divided by W times of K equals 1 times of 30 is divided by 0 0.015 equals 2000 meter square now Taking the L by B ratio of 8, then area AS equals AS equals 2000. L by B area means length into breadth equals 2000. And from this equation, the value of L is 8B times of B equals 2000. That is B equals, on solving this, the value of B equals. 15.81 meter which is nearly equals to 16 meter and L equals L equals 8B 8 times of B equals 8 to 16 equals 128 meter now we'll go for the depth I'm sorry uh, we'll go to the depth equals q is divided b times of v equals 30 is divided by 22.5 0 0.17 equals 7.84 meter is the depth hence 
in turbulence condition the required dimension settling basin is 90 meter times 22.5 meter times of 7.84 meter now we will go to the case 2 that is turbulence condition where the value of k turbulence factor equals 1.2 So first we'll calculate the surface area A as equals K times of Q is divided by W where the value of K as a K is 1.2 and the value of Q is 30 is divided by 0.015. The surface area for this is 2400 meter square. Now taking the L by B ratio is 4 then the value of L equals 4 times of B and the surface area A is calculated as 2400 where the A surface area A means L times of B equals 2400 as we know the value of L is given as 2 sorry 4 times of B dot B equals 2400 that is B equals 25 meter and the value of L placing this value of b on this equals 4b equals 4 times of 25 equals 100 meter now the depth of settling basin d equals q divided by b times of v equals 30 times of b is 25 and 0.17 the depth is 7.05 meter so on turbulence condition the dimension of the basin will size will be 100 meter times of 25 meter times of 7.05 meter now at the final stage we will calculate the efficiency sorry check the efficiency using the Peters method for trapping efficiency equals 1 minus e power minus a s is divided by q equals 1 minus e power 0 0.015 so 100 into 25 is divided by 30 on solving this the efficiency equals 71.34 percent so a uh, settling basin having the length 100 meter and the width uh, 25 meter with the distance 30 meter cube per second in such case the sediment will be settled is only 71.34 percent so in this case if the desired percentage this percentage of the settled particle is within the limit the design is okay otherwise we have to repeat the procedure by changing dimension until desired efficiency is obtained if this is not the desired efficiency then we have to repeat all these steps again so for this time we end up the video of this month we will come again with one new video till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us and if you have any concern related to water related subject 
you can comment us in our comment section thank you